Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a car I've been wanting to film for a long time. This, of course, is the X3M competition. An absolute beast of a car. Finished in Toronto red, which is a really vibrant, almost orangey red. Uh, but this is uh, actually owned by a good friend of mine, Bruce from Cooling Mist. Uh, this is a bit of a monster as well, running 800 brake or thereabouts. Uh, it's running port meth. We've got standard turbos as well. Crazy how much power you can ooze out of these things. A lot has been done to it. We'll catch up with Bruce, introduce him. He can basically can walk through uh, what's been done to it and then finally we can go out and I can experience the X3M. Okay, we're joined now with Bruce, the owner of this, mate. Good to have you back on the channel. Ah, uh, yeah, good to be back. Yeah, it's last time we did something was your M2, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was the M2, yeah. Years but, ago. Yeah, quite a few years, years ago. ago. And actually, that's changed quite a bit since last time. Uh, as that's well, true. Yeah, we'll have to get that back on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is another one of the toys. Yeah. X3M competition. I love these cars. Yeah. I think they're a Bit of a cheat code, really. Yeah, they, they do everything. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Um, and it's no slouch, this one, either. No, no, <laughs> no. And to be fair, it doesn't take a lot to make them no slouch, either. No, that's true. I mean, I was surprised to, to hear kind of not in a bad way but how little you need to do yeah to, to get stuff out of them so yeah s58 is one hell of yeah, an engine absolutely so this is running around 800 brakes yes yeah, about 800 moment. hopefully once the sort of mapping gets finished we should end up mm -hmm. somewhere around 830 850 nice, um, nice which is more than enough for a, yeah. a big old bus like this yeah and stock turbos yep stock turbo <laughs> stock engine yeah um yeah just some sort of simple breathing and fueling mods yeah. really at so, the end of the day yeah that's it obviously the the meth kit is a big part of it which yep. is obviously yeah, your bread yeah, and butter that's anyway. giving us a ton more extra fuel for the extra boost. Yep. Um, obviously keeping the octane nice and high as well. Mm -hmm. So it just meant we didn't have to go down the port injection route that we yep. can just use the meth. So it just keeps things nice and simple. Fill up a meth tank and away you go. Yeah, so it's pretty subtle, but you can yep. see the... Yeah, sort of hit the distribution here. block underneath the slam panel, mm. and then obviously it feeds into the um, port injection points. Yeah, I mean, would you go any further? It's not really worth no, it. No, I mean, like, it? I did think about, I mean, I'm never going to say never, <laughs> you know what it's like. Um, but my sort of opinion was that if I do hybrids, I kind of then feel I should maybe build the engine yeah. and then if you're building the engine you then got to potentially start looking at gearbox as well and it just sort of snowballs out of control yeah no absolutely yeah and yeah. at the end of the day it is just meant to be the family car the, <laughs> the tow vehicle so yeah that's you true know, like it's a pretty cool tow vehicle yeah yeah no, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun <laughs> in terms of any supporting mods there's what just some panel filters really uh, panel filters obviously the port meth i have added flex fuel decats and a single mid pipe just to get rid uh, of the opfs and yeah. make it sound you know a little bit better a bit better yeah yeah, and that's pretty much all, all the engine mods yeah. that we've done. Fair enough. In terms of cosmetic wise, obviously standard wheels, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, standard wheels, just some spacers, yeah. HR lowering springs, okay. um, yeah. added a splitter, a rear spoiler. I would like some side skirts on it, and then that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Yeah. You know, looks wise, I might yeah. refurbish the wheels and go for like a nice gloss black. Yeah. Not a huge fan on diamond cuts. So um, the full gloss, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. to smarten it up a little bit more, yeah, make it maybe not? a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Is it, do you say it was a full system, the exhaust? No, just, just, a... just literally um, okay. uh, Boost Addicts, D-Cats, and yeah. single mid-pipe. EBC Blue NDX pads, front okay. and rear. I would like to add the um, M5 calipers. They just go straight on, then it gives you a nice big six pots. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just for the, uh, you know, I do every now and then take it on track, so just, just yeah. to help for a bit of braking. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Yeah. Why not? Trying to pull up that two-ton weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, to be honest, th this car has been right at the top of my list of ones I've been wanting to experience because yeah, yeah. They, they are really popular nowadays actually. yeah oh, yeah like I'm, and, um, I'm always surprised when i go to the pod yeah um, even when i've been at the ring and stuff there yeah it's quite a few of them they you know yeah. and people seem to really really like them they are drawn to them yeah no that is true proper fast wagon real well bus really isn't yeah, it yeah it shocks thing. a lot of people like, <laughs> the, the grip they have and just they just get up and go basically yeah, absolutely but cool all right i think we'll get it fired up and um make sure it's up to temp and then we'll, we'll go for a spin yeah cool beans sense of speed I just don't notice it. it doesn't in my opinion it doesn't feel fast at all because it's so heavy hard. it's solid mm. it's got lots of grip like yeah. it just doesn't feel it's not all like you're not all manic like yeah. 800 brake in my m2 would be 
It's horrendous. Like. <laughs> That's true. Like, just leave levens everywhere where this yeah. thing just, like, you can, even though it's wet and damp, I, I couldn't, I could do that couldn't in do my that. M2, like that. <laughs> There's no way I could do that in the M2 in these conditions. No, nah, it sounds so good as well. The snaps on the upshift. Yeah, it's got proper itself, so you've got XHP stage three on it. Yeah. Um, and we used, because of the extra torque, because I think on the dyno it was like 930, 950 Newton meters. Wow. So um, we have to use the, they do an optional extra. And I don't know why it's just not stand on stage three, but they do, um, you can get what's called a line bump. So okay. they increase the line pressure even more just yeah. for the high torque vehicles. Mm -hmm. big shouldn't be this fast. <laughs> so much fun. It is mental. And it, it's still so usable, isn't it? Yeah, like, like if like I drive said. along just normal like that, just you know, just over the speed limit, quite yeah. quiet, it's easy, it's normal. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. hunt, doesn't mit like just absolutely perfectly yeah. like just like completely stock car. Yeah. And obviously it's got the switchable drivetrain I suppose you could say. So you've got full all-wheel drive. Yeah, so these are permanent four-wheel drive, but you can get the um, the app um, X Delete, so you can make them real-wheel drive. Oh, so it's not something that's factory like the F90s? No. Ah, okay. No. <laughs> it's kind of quite a deep tone, but yeah. then when you get up in the revs, it goes really high pitch. Yeah, it really howls. Yeah. It really howls. <laughs> Um, stock rev limit, so okay, yeah, nothing you know, nothing fancy has been done to it or anything. Mm. I think it just fit in the mid pipe completely changed, you know, the single mid pipe completely changed the tone. Yeah, it's a, it's a do anything car, isn't it? Yeah, kids like being in it, wife likes driving it, she hates the E63 that I've got because it's rear wheel drive, <laughs> petrified of that thing, <laughs> so that's why I ended up buying it. Plus, I wanted a tow vehicle to tow the M2 and the other yeah. cars around, yeah, so, absolutely, yeah. Um, it's not the best car to, for towing, like my Range Rover definitely was better, but mm. for what this does, obviously the Range Rover's nowhere near as fast as this thing. Yeah, Range Rover doesn't have 800 brake. No. <laughs> no. The Range Rover had a bit of poke to it, but not like this. Yeah. I spy the draggy. Yeah. What sort of times? Uh, so uh, I think my best time was 2.99 on the 0-60. Uh, I've done 10, 7, 10, 6 so far on the quarter. Okay. I need to, I'm going to Santa Pod for the BMW show next weekend. So yeah. get on a decent surface and yeah. hopefully get a bit more grip and get, get that quarter mile time down. Yeah. That's um, very impressive. Though. I'd like, you know, I think 10.4, 10.3 maybe. Yeah. I think, you know, achievable yeah. if it's got the grip. Crazy fast for like sub three seconds to 60. <laughs> One of these. Yeah, have a two ton, you know, bus. <laughs> yeah. That tows your, tows your cars around, you know, yeah. do runs to the dump, can. Yeah, just do everything. And yeah. it's actually pretty economical on the fuel as well. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and yeah. to be fair, you use it properly as well. Like you've done the ring in it. Yeah, yeah. Multiple times or just the once? Uh, no, I've only done one trip, but I did. I think I did like ten laps while I was out there. Yeah. Um, done Hockenheim in it. Nice. Probably going to try and do some more in it. I might um, in October, which is normally ends up being bad weather. There is a day at Spa, and I'm you know probably okay. take it to Spa. Yeah. Well, um, perfect, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if they let it. I know, like sometimes some tracks can be a little bit funny about SUVs on track. Oh, really? Mm. Um, they just don't like the height. But with the M, yeah. because it's in classes like an M car, mm. um, like when I emailed Hockenheim, they seemed really confused that I was even asking them whether it was allowed out or not. <laughs> oh, really? But that is the Germans. So, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they actually <laughs> love, like, just love cars and love BMWs. Yeah, but for sure. I'm hoping Spa will be fine about it. Mm. Um, I'm sure they will be. Yeah. So is this just a, a single map or have you got switchable maps? Uh, yeah, well, so this yeah. is, a, um, I've got multi-map, so I can change between the direct port MEF with my ethanol. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously the ethanol is automatic. Um, you know, I just chuck the ethanol in all the way up to E50 and it can adjust the map for it. Yeah. Um, but I have a 99 map and I've got what I call race gas map, which is just for charge pipe MEF. 
Okay, yeah. So I tend to sort of, um, when I give it to the wife, put it on 99 and turn the meth off. Yeah. Um, Because I just don't want her wasting the meth. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I love it. Well, she'd she'd drive it just hard enough that it'd probably activate, but not that she'd actually get anything from it. So it's just wasting meth, so. Wasting your meth. Yeah, wasting my meth, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, 99 for that. And then most of the time when I'm running around daily, um, I use the race gas map, so that's just charge pipe meth. Um, it does, I'm guessing it probably does somewhere in the ballpark of 720 to 740 on that sort of map, okay, which is yeah. you know, more than enough for a daily map. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, um, obviously when I want to go out and play in, mm. I put the um, full custom map on yeah. um, with the direct port meth, and then obviously I can just add in the ethanol. For a 4B4, it still grips and handles, it, you know, it's, hell, yeah. its weight, it hides its weight really well. Yeah. It's not much body roll. There isn't actually, there's a bit, but I mean, two yeah, tons you're going to know it, yeah. Yeah, that is actually quite impressive through there. And then it just has all the grip out the vents. Yeah. And to be honest, I think this might be the first SUV on the channel. Just going through those corners, I was like, okay, this is... <laughs> you get thrown around a lot, and I'm like, hang on a minute. I don't remember seeing this road from this high up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, to, to go through the, the corners like that is really impressive. Because it, it shouldn't be designed for it, really. It shouldn't be good at it. But no. it, it is. <laughs> but yeah, no, mate, thank you so much for, for coming down. No, good it's good a to catch up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, uh, to get another one of the cars on the channel. We'll have to do the M2 again at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get the new turbo on and yeah. then, um, yeah, I'll bring it back. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, if you do want to learn more about well, this build, the other builds, and everything about Calling Mist, I'll leave uh, Bruce's link to his Instagram down in the description. But for me today, that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, Please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.